The Super Simple Podcast. Hi, friends. Thanks for joining us on today's podcast episode. This one is called Five Little Speckled Frogs. Let's hop into it. Hello, hello. It's good to be with you, my friend. Hello, hello. I'm glad we're together again. We got Zach on the keys. And Katie singing, la 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 la. We'll have some fun in our imagination. Go on adventures again and again. Hello, hello. It's good to be with you, my friend. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Super Simple Podcast. I'm Katie, and this is Zach. Hello, hello. And today, we are going to visit a pond. This pond is no ordinary pond. This pond is in our imagination. And I imagine that this pond is filled with frogs. <laughs> frogs are really interesting creatures. They're amphibians. They can swim and jump and breathe underwater. And they love to eat bugs. Yum, yum. <laughs> the most delicious bugs. Let's get ready for our imaginary visit to the pond by taking a moment to clear our minds. We'll make lots of room for all the imaginary frogs we'll find in our heads. Are you ready, Zach? Ready, Katie. Are you ready, friends? Let's take a deep breath all together. In one, two, three, hold it. Out, three, two, one. Let's listen to the sounds around us. I can hear Zach's piano. It kind of sounds like the rivet, rivet sound a frog might make. Let's wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes. And let's take one more deep breath that fills us up from our head down to our toes. Close your eyes. In one, two, three, hold it. Out, three, two, one. Let's go to the pond. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. <laughs> Can you see the pond in your mind? I imagine a round body of water with long grass around it. There's a log that's partly on the land and partly floating on the water. There's also lots of green plants with white flowers floating on top of the water. Those are lily pads. Oh, yeah. Can you see the lily pads floating on the pond? Frogs sometimes sit on lily pads, or they hide underneath them in the water. And frogs can sometimes be tricky to spot at the pond, but they must be here because I can hear them. Can you imagine hearing the sound a frog makes? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> Let's take a closer look and see if we can find any. Look around, look around, 
look around and see what can be found. Do you see anything? We can look on the lily pads and look on the log and look in the water. But I don't see any frogs. Glub, glub. But they must be here somewhere. Let's keep looking around in our minds. Look around, look around, look around and see what can be found. Oh, I see one. It's on the log. I see one too, also on the log. I didn't see them before. The frogs are camouflaged. They blend in with the log, making them hard to see. But there they are, two little speckled frogs. <laughs> two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log. <laughs> Can you see the frogs at the pond? Let's imagine one of the frogs sitting on the log jumps into the pond. Ready? The frog uses its back legs to jump up and splash. It lands in the water. <laughs> splash. That looks like fun. Can we imagine to be speckled frogs? Then we can pretend to use our froggy legs to jump into the pond. We can be anything when we're imagining anything we want to be. Imagine with me. Let's pretend we're frogs. We'll have to imagine we're much smaller. Frogs are much smaller than we are. Let's feel our bodies getting smaller and smaller, getting closer and closer to the tall grass. Now the grass is above us, and we're so small on the ground next to the big pond. Can you feel your strong, froggy legs that are great for jumping? And your webbed feet that are great for swimming? And look, our skin is all speckled and green. <laughs> We're frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Let's jump into the pond on the count of three. One, two, three, jump, splash! Let's swim through the water with our froggy arms and froggy legs. I imagine the water feels nice and cool. What's that floating up above us? I imagine I see a big circle floating up above. Oh, it must be a lily pad. I imagine that's what a lily pad looks like from underneath. Let's go on to the lily pad and see what's up there. Wow, now we're in the middle of the pond. Everything looks a bit different from here, including the bugs! Oh, I imagine the bugs are much bigger when you're a frog. Can you imagine them buzzing around the pond? Bzzz. <laughs> hey, Katie, don't frogs eat bugs? That's right, they do. They catch them in the air with their long, sticky tongues. Should we try to catch a bug? <laughs> 
Frogs think they're most delicious. Yum, yum. Let's try it. I imagine I see one flying close by. I'll pretend to reach out with my tongue. Ah! Oh, I didn't catch it. It got away. Hmm, this might be harder than it seems. But when you wanna give up, try again. Keep on trying, keep on trying. Let's try again. Do you see a bug buzzing nearby? Wait for the right moment. Wait, then pretend to reach out your long sticky tongue. Uh -huh. Did you get it? I caught it! Mm-hmm. <laughs> I imagine it's a most delicious bug. Yum, yum. <laughs> Let's pretend to catch one more. We have to wait for a bug to come by. Hmm. Where'd all the bugs go? Maybe they know we frogs are hungry. We'll just have to wait until one buzzes by. Waiting, waiting, we're patient as we're waiting. <sighs> waiting, waiting, sometimes we have to wait. Do you see one? I imagine I see one coming closer and closer. Wait for the right moment. Then, pretend to reach out with your sticky tongue. Woo! Got it! Another delicious bug. Yum, yum. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Did you hear that? It's the other frogs we saw earlier that are sitting on the log. Let's go to the log and say hello. Or should we say... Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, froggy friends. Ooh, I imagine the frogs look much bigger now, now that we're the same size. Can you see the big frogs in your mind sitting next to us? What can we do with our new frog friends? I know speckled frogs like to sit on speckled logs, but is there something else we can do together? What's a game that frogs like to play? Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking a thought. Hmm. I'm thinking a lot. Hmm. We need an idea. Let's work with what we've got. I know! Leapfrog! That's a great game! Yeah, I like to play Leapfrog. Maybe frogs do too. Let's see if we can play Leapfrog with the frogs on the log. Let's get our strong froggy legs ready. We'll jump over one of the frogs on the count of three. One, two, three, leap! Whee! <laughs> That's fun! Now your turn, froggy friend. Let's make ourselves into a froggy ball so our froggy friend can leapfrog over. Here they go. Leap. We're doing it. We're playing leapfrog with the froggies. Leapfrog, leapfrog, hop over each other. Leapfrog, leapfrog, one after another. Leapfrog, leapfrog, and you will discover you need each other to keep hopping on. What a fun game! Our froggy friend seems to like it. <laughs>
but it's almost time for us to head back to the edge of the pond. We'll have to swim back soon. But before we do, can you see how many frogs are on the log now? There's our two froggy friends, me, you, and Zach. That's five little frogs. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. <laughs> Let's jump into the pool and say goodbye to our froggy friends. Or should we say, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Let's jump in one more time on the count of three. One, two, three. Jump! Splash! Let's swim back to shore. Use those froggy hands and feet to swim, swim, swim. We made it. And once we reach the land, we're back to our old selves. The pond is back the way it was. And I can still picture our froggy friends over there on the log waiting for some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. <laughs> that was such an exciting imagination adventure to the pond. There's lots to explore when you're pretending to be a frog. Thanks for playing with us. We'll have more imagination fun for you next time. But until then, it's time to say goodbye. Or should we say, ribbit, ribbit? <laughs> Ribbit, ribbit. But also, goodbye, goodbye. Our time has come to an end. Goodbye for now. Until we're together again. See you again soon, friends. A big goodbye from me and Zach. See you soon. And all your friends at Super Simple. Bye. Ribbit, ribbit. Thanks for hanging out with us by the pond. We had a ribbiting good time. If you had fun too, hop on over to supersimple.com for other fun videos, printables, and activities.